Now I'm going to go over how you can set up your Chromebook so you can download and use Android apps from the Google Play Store if you want to. So this might come in handy, say um, you want to watch Netflix shows offline on your Chromebook while you're flying or whatever, you might not have internet access. You can download the Netflix app and within the Netflix app, like on your phone, on your Android phone or your iPhone, you can download shows and movies to view offline while you're on a plane or something like that. So downloading the Android um, Netflix app onto your Chromebook will allow you to do that as well. Um, there are a bunch of other use cases, but that's just kind of one example. So to go ahead and do it, you wanna jump into your settings by going to the icons in the bottom right-hand corner tapping on the settings gear. Once you're here, um, you're basically just gonna scroll down to the bottom here until you get to apps. You can also click apps over on the left side here and it gets you to the same thing. And once you're here, you can see the Google Play Store, install apps and games from the Google Play Store on your Chromebook. You wanna go ahead and tap and turn on, okay? Once it does that, you're gonna get this information here. You can go ahead and read through it, tap on more, and again, go ahead and read kind of these um, terms and conditions before you click accept. And then we're just gonna wait for it to get all set up here. And there we go, it's gonna go ahead and launch the Google Play Store for us here. And you can see we have the icon down below. And that'll also show up in your kind of uh, app drawer here too, where all your programs and stuff are, if you need it. So here you go, it looks very similar to the uh, Play Store on the phone, just kind of on a bigger screen. And you can see we get a bunch of different options of things we can go download, like Netflix, Disney Plus, Twitter, the Twitter app and things like that. Now you can download things like the Twitter app and use it if you want to and decide if you'd rather use the app or the web version like you normally do. Um, but you can get things like Microsoft Word and Excel and a bunch of other things on the Play Store. Now, not everything is gonna be compatible with Chromebooks that's on the Play Store. So do keep that in mind, you may find one and it say it's not compatible with your device. Um, that's just because it's not compatible with, with Chromebooks. But if we tap on Netflix, we can go ahead and install it. And it's gonna go ahead and download it. And while it's doing that, I'm also gonna go ahead and search for the YouTube app. And I'm gonna download that too, because if you use YouTube Premium or something like that, you can download YouTube videos for offline use through the YouTube app. And I'm gonna show you something once that's all downloaded. So now that those apps are downloaded and installed on our Chromebook, if we go into our, where all of our apps are, you can see, um, I've downloaded a few other ones, um, but here's the YouTube app and the Netflix app. And you can drag and put these um, on the little shelf down here if you want to. Um, but you can see with YouTube, we have two YouTube icons here. One of them's the app and one of them just takes us to youtube.com um, in the web browser. And you can tell which one that is by this little Chrome icon in the bottom right. That shows that that's gonna take us to the website, not the Android app. And most of the Android apps will have this white circle behind them. So if I click on this one, you'll see it just takes me to the website. But if I go back in here and I click on the app, this is gonna take us into something that takes us into the Android app, um, which should look pretty familiar and it works the same way as the Android app does. 
So I'll close out of those. So just know um, if you have, you know, maybe if I download the Google Keep Android app, um, you'd see it pop up here next to it. And then this one would have the Chrome logo because that's the website. And the other one would have this kind of white circle or some circle shape kind of behind it to kind of notify the difference between what's the website and what's the Android app. Again, if you decide you just want to use the Android app and never go to the website for YouTube, you can, you know, right click on this and click uninstall. And now you just have the one. So that's how you can go ahead and set up Android apps and kind of see what the difference is um, between them when you're looking through your programs and everything. Another thing to keep in mind um, is if you have multiple accounts on your uh, Chromebook here, only one ac account at a time can have Android apps on it. So since Android apps are on this account, if I were go and to sign into another user on this Chromebook that I have set up, they would not have the ability to download and use uh, Chromebook apps. Um, a way around that, or sorry, to use Android apps. They wouldn't be able to use Android apps um, because I'm using them on this user profile here. Now, a way around that is to actually just sign out of this account, right? And you would just sign out of it. You don't have to remove the account or anything. Just sign out of it and then sign into another account. Then you would be able to go do the same steps and download and install apps. But then if I came back to this account without signing out of the other account, all these Android apps I had on here uh, wouldn't show up anymore um, because I've gone and now I'm using Android apps on that other account. So it's a little confusing, but it's pretty easy just to remember that only one account at a time can have Android apps. Now, a little neat thing about that is if I go into all the accounts on here and you know, set up Android apps and everything. And then I, I sign out of that account and switch back to one that had the Android apps on it before, the apps that you've already installed will pop up again. So you don't have to re-download everything. Um, just know they're only gonna show up on one user at a time. So if you go and open your user and you see your Android apps that you have downloaded are gone um, and they're not showing up anywhere, just go ahead and sign out of all of the other accounts um, and then sign back into yours and they'll pop up momentarily. Again, you don't have to remove those users from the Chromebook. You just have to sign out of the account. Um, so that is an important thing to remember about using Android apps on Chromebooks. But hopefully this video has helped. And if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel to get more helpful videos like this one on how to make your technology work better for you. Thanks.